hello and welcome back guys you are watching linux kings so today in this video we will learn uh, how to put different types of security on a cisco router so first the question lies in our mind that why we need uh, to put security on the router so guys uh, this is very important because from the point of view of security and uh, suppose you have a router and uh, you already configured it but somehow some of your enemy or attacker came to your office and destroy your configuration of router then what you will do it will create a problem for you okay or the attacker can also steal your data and manipulate the data so to avoid such things we need to secure our data and to save routers configuration we need to put security on router so let's begin how to put security on router so we will take the help of cisco packet tracer here so it's a student version so i'll select a router that's name is 1841 okay here it is my 8041 router and uh, this is a logical view of the cisco packet tracer here as you can see here are two view uh, that default view is logical and second is physical okay you can also watch this in the physical view okay in this way uh, sorry okay when you click on the office here you can see the physical view of this router so as you know this is a physical device we can't install it as a software we need a cable through which we can connect our laptop or pc to this router and then can configure this router so here i will do the same here so i will select a laptop now drop it here okay now here you can see i have the laptop and i have router okay i will drop it uh, down okay now if you will see in the logical view it will look like this one okay but when you will go to physical view then you will see this view okay now it's time to connect this so directly i will uh, take uh, a cable from here okay you have to just choose the cable and uh, here you can see the console choose this console option and uh, type this rs232 okay now here you can see the physical view the cable is entered here it is plugged in in the router and here in the laptop now it's time to put the security on router so how we will do first of all we have to go to the laptop and here you will see a desktop option and on the desktop option there will be the terminal okay so we have to press on terminal now click on ok don't make uh, any changes here now here you will see that we are on the default configuration of router so here now we have come in the router okay now what we have to do here we can type uh, we can put different type of security uh, like before uh, privilege mode uh, or before user mode and uh, if someone is accessing telnet from router then you can also stop him by putting the security on telnet so there are many types of security so let's learn how to do this security here simply we have to type enable password okay and just after password you simply type your password so here i will type the password ccna okay now hit enter and come exit and I just type here write okay so that it will save in your startup config okay and now exit okay okay now we have put the security uh, after the user mode here you can see that it is asking for the password as i have typed the password now i can go further okay in the terminal mode as well so now uh, it's time to put another security as here you can see it's a weak type of security if you will see uh, let me show you how it is okay first we will exit from here and now here if you will check so run okay then you will see uh, that here it is showing the enable password and cc any so it is considered as a weak uh, method for security it can show in the running config if somebody have a little more information about uh, the router how to check its uh, configuration then they can steal your password okay so to avoid uh, this type of uh, uh, things uh, now we have to put uh, a strong method for security so what we will do to put uh, a strong security on this so for that just come to again config terminal okay conf t now here what we have to do here we type uh, enable password now we will type here enable secret okay and then uh, we will type the password 
so what password you want to type here i will type here linux kings okay now hit enter okay just exit from here now here save this config and uh, uh, exit from this privilege mode okay now we have exit from here and just enable and uh, now give the password that we have given linux kings enter okay now we have come and let me show you how it is a strong method to protect your router if you were to type so run here then you will see okay and this method in this method it is directly showing the password okay here you can see but enable secret mode it is showing you the encrypted text okay it means uh, the stealers or attacker cannot steal your password so it is very important to put a strong password now uh, let's come on the next method to put the security on your router so okay now again we will go to the terminal okay conf terminal now we are putting security on console port okay if anybody is putting uh, console anybody is removing or adding uh, other console to your router or want to steal your configuration routers configuration then how you will be protected so for that here we will type line con or you can type here console okay and here zero now enter and here we will type the password okay what password you want to set for this so here i will uh, put again linux kings okay after that here you will type login okay here you can uh, type login or login local if you will type login local then you have to add user and password for that okay if you will type login here then anybody having password can login okay now after entering just come exit and save this config here we will type right okay enter and just exit from here and now you can see before entering user exit mode it is asking for the password so before entering to uh, user mode you have to give the password if you will not give the password it will not be started so this is the best uh, protection for your router so now we here we have to type linux kings okay and enter now we have come to the user mode so here we have to type enable and it is again asking for the password now it has the double security for your router now no one can steal your data or no one can manipulate your configuration on your router so in this way we have different types of security we can put on the router uh, beside this we have many uh, securities like another method uh, to secure our router is uh, we can uh, put the security on the telnet okay so if somebody want to access our router from a remote location then we can also stop that person from accessing our data so uh, in my previous video i have shown how to telnet on router and in that video i also described how to put security on the telnet you can watch uh, by clicking on the i button so guys uh, this was all about the router security if you like my videos please hit like option and share with your friends and also comment if you have any doubt or if you have good suggestion for me and uh, if you are new on this channel please subscribe linux kings thank you guys for watching